Hello and welcome. The chosen series as of now will be Haiki UX Jujutsu Kaisen. But due to some difficulties I need to use more time on that one. So I will occasionally post some other series episodes to fill in. I'm really sorry if this leads you to be disappointed with some of my uploads. But this will help me stay motivated. Your comments makes it worth it. So thank you either way. While making series, I will only use voiceover before and after the videos. Now for the warnings. This video contains, bad language and out of character haikyuu. The pictures, characters and sound do not belong to me. All credit goes to the rightful owners. I advise minors to not watch this video, but I can't make you. Hope it helps or that you find it entertaining. Now on to the video. We owe it all to you, Kushida! Yeah, you totally saved our butts on this one. Hey guys, it's not like I took the test for you. You're an angel. Oh. Kushida, you must have been sent from heaven to help us pass. <laughs> Ayana Koji, hmm? be honest. What exactly did you do? What do you think, you're in some kind of gangster movie with that thug act? Man, you're ugly inside and out, you pathetic loser. Ah, say that again, punk! <laughs> Kushida asked me to try to get him to come to her study group. But I don't know. I can't wait to see how many Class D idiots get expelled after they fail the next test. I bet I know who will be first. I hope you've said your prayers. All right, that's enough. What? Who are you? Keep your damn nose out of it! As one of your fellow students, I cannot allow violence to be perpetrated on this campus, understand? If you all insist on continuing to fight anyway, I'm going to have to call security. Look, Ichinose, there isn't even a fight to continue. Sudo's victimizing us. Is that so? Well, from where I'm standing, you certainly don't look like victims to me, Ruin. And if you don't cut it out, I'm going to report every one of you to the administration. <laughs> hey, monkey. You son of a... I think you're going to make a mighty fine plaything. Hey, punk! You running away? Answer me! I'm talking to you! Listen, Sudo, don't let him get you all wound up like that, okay? Shut your mouth. You don't rule me. Sorry for all the drama, guys! Everything's cool now! Thanks! Thanks You're for the bunch, best! You know, say? <laughs> okay, guys, do your best to stay out of trouble. See ya! Damn it. Sudo, are you free for the next hour? Kushi don't want you to come to her study group. No way! I've got practice. EK and Yamauchi are both in it. Hey, are you sure you'll be all right on your own? There's no point in cramming for it now. I'll take my chances. Sudo! Huh? Together. What's the matter with you today? Sorry. Hey, Sudo. 
Can we talk for a minute? Are you seriously okay with getting expelled from this school? Just get off my back. So you'd give it up then, basketball? Uh. I've summarized all the information from class in this notebook. Just so you know, I'm only doing this for my own sake. You really should study for yours if you know what's good for you. That way you won't get expelled and you can keep playing on the basketball team at this school. Ayano Koji, I can't believe you invited me to lunch! This sure is a first! Did you want to talk to me about something? Yeah, just promise you won't breathe a word to anyone. <laughs> Let's go. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me. Are you an upperclassman? Mm -hmm. I'm Kiyotaka Ayanokoji from Class 1D. You're in the D class for your grade too, aren't you? Well, yeah. The free food selection is pretty abysmal, isn't it? What do you want from me? I want to consult with you about something. Don't worry, I will make it worth your while. Okay. About what? Do you still have any of your class's midterm questions from two years ago? I want you to hand them over to me. Why are you asking me and not the other upperclassmen? Is it that hard to see? People like you who are short on class points are way more likely to see the benefit of striking a deal with us. And don't think I didn't notice how hard you were struggling to eat that wild vegetable lunch combo. How much will you pay? 10,000 points. It's as high as I'll go. I'd be taking a big risk here, too. I would need 30,000 at the very least. I'm afraid that won't work. Sorry to disappoint. You can forget making a deal with me, then. Please reconsider! <clears throat> We're doing this to prevent a friend of ours from getting kicked out of school. I'm begging you to help us. <sighs> 10,000. <clears throat> no, 25. Ten thousand. Twenty thousand. Ten thousand. That's it. Fifteen thousand. I can't possibly go any lower. I can live with that. You've got a deal. That is, if you include your quizzes from the first term as a bonus. Okay. I can't ever thank you enough. <laughs> Still, how do you know that it'll be okay? Don't worry about it. This is all well within school rules. I suppose that could be true, but studying old test questions feels an awful lot like cheating. I disagree with you on that. His reaction to our proposition only confirmed my theory. Trading old test questions among students is nothing out of the ordinary at this school. Maybe that's because they're just that, old questions. What if this year's exam isn't anything like the one from before? The old test may not contain the exact same questions, but I'm willing to bet it'll still cover the same content. You think so? Try not to worry about it. This is our first line of defense against Sudo and the others getting expelled. Oh. Here we go. He started with a quiz. It's the same. Oh. Identical, down to the letter. Oh, that's great! So what does that mean about the midterm? It'll probably be the same as last year's, too. We should show that to the whole class, not just the people in danger of failing. Not yet. We'll hold off on showing it to them for now. But why? Say we show them the questions the day before the test. What do you think they would do in that case? instead of study. That's precisely it. Ayano Kochi, are you a lot smarter than you let on? I'd say I'm more cunning than smart. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
Do you think you could do me a favor? Uh. When we do this, can you tell the class that you're the one who got the questions? Sure, if you want. But wouldn't you like to get credit for your hard work? I don't like to draw attention to myself unnecessarily. And anyway, I think our classmates trust you a little more than they do me. Okay, then. If you're positive that's what you really want. I appreciate it. Well, I guess this means you and I have our own little secret, don't we? <laughs> Everyone, there's something I want you to have before you leave for the day. What? Test questions? Did you make these up or something? Actually, they're questions that were on the midterm a couple years ago. I got them last night from one of the third years. Seriously? Mm -hmm. He told me that the tests have been pretty much identical for the last couple of years. So I bet they'll be helpful in studying for tomorrow's test, too. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Heck, I wish I had these before I ran myself ragged studying. This is awesome. Here you go, Kalenti. I beg your pardon, but I don't need to resort to such tactics. And I've got a hot date tonight, so excuse me. Have fun with your studying. Uh, hey, Kushida. I know things like this might be beneath you, but I want you to have one, too. Can I ask you a question? Thanks a million, Kushida! I shall be forever in your debt! <laughs> to be honest, I think the only reason I, you know that? Okay I can't say I'm surprised. Kushida plays the role well. That's an insult. I must say, I'm impressed with you. I never imagined you'd be able to bring your scores up so much on this exam. I acknowledge that you must have put in the effort. However... <laughs> Sudo got a failing grade. Too bad. You've got to be kidding! How could I possibly have failed? The threshold for failure on the midterm exam was 40 points. The average class <laughs> test score was 79.6. When I divide that by two, then round up to 40 points, I get the minimum score needed to pass. By less than a point? We only knew each other for a short time, and I know you tried. Your expulsion notice will be issued after class anyway. So that's it. I'm getting expelled. Wait, Miss Chabashita! Is there anything we can do to save him? A failing score is a failing score. Are you sure that's the final word? We just can't let Sudo get kicked out like this. It doesn't seem right. Rules exist for a reason. Just get over it. Homeroom is over for today. Sudo, I'll be waiting for you in the faculty office after school. Sorry, gotta go to the restroom. <sighs> what do you want? You'll be tardy if you don't head back to class. Yeah, I know. But I have a question. A burning question. Make it fast. Right now in Japan, do you believe that our society is equal? That's quite a question for a boy of your age. But is there any point in my answering at this moment? It's important to me. I would appreciate an answer. Well, speaking from my own experience... Our society is definitely not equal. Not in the least. I'm inclined to agree with you. The word equality is a lie that we're told. But still, humans are rational. We didn't become social beings for no reason. 
What are you trying to say? What I'm saying is, for rules to be effective, they have to at least appear to apply equally to everybody. Huh. So what do you want? Sell me a point on that test. To add the pseudo score. You sure are an interesting kid. Do you really expect me to sell you a single test point? Well, why not? It goes along with what you told us on the first day. To make purchases, you will spend points, which are tracked using the school's computer system. At this school, you can buy absolutely anything on campus with these. For rules to work, they must be applied across the board, even when it comes to the midterm. I see what you mean. Maybe there is something to your little idea after all. Okay, good. However... That doesn't mean you can afford that single point. It's quite a lot. So give me a number. Let me see. If you can cough up 100,000 points right here and now, then we'll have an agreement. That's just cruel, Miss Chabashita. That's part of the rules, too. I'll help cover it. We don't know what the punishment is. The price for losing one of our classmates might be high. I've determined that there may be certain advantages to us keeping Sudo around. Morikita. <laughs> I thought that you people might keep me on my toes. Very well then. I'll sell you Sudo's test point. You can tell him you saved him. He won't be expelled after all. Are you sure about this? You made your case, and I agreed. I couldn't refuse now. And just so you're aware, never in this school's history has a D-Class managed to advance. Do you think you'll be the first? I can't speak for him, but I will ascend to a higher class. Is that so? And how do defectives such as yourselves plan to achieve such a goal? From what I've seen, Defectives can sometimes be fixed with only the slightest of alterations, at least in my experience. <laughs> I can't wait to see how that turns out. As your teacher, I sincerely hope that you succeed. Class C is gaining on us. Looks like Yuen must be at work again. He's dangerous for us. Don't you find it all boring? Class A has 1,004 points. For some perspective, we only have 87 right now. To be honest, becoming Class A feels like a pipe dream. I'm not going to give up. I will advance to Class A no matter what. If you say so. What's that? Well, I definitely owe you one. Thanks for jumping in to help me save Pseudo. Didn't I tell you? I did that to benefit myself and for no other purpose. Hmm. Is that really the only reason? What are you talking about? I think you care more than you let on. You knew Suda would get a borderline score on the English midterm, so you intentionally lowered your score. <laughs> That's a very nice thing to do for someone you once fought with. I wonder why you changed your mind about him. I told you I only did it to help us advance to Class A. Yeah, okay. Just keep telling yourself that. Hey, hmm? you've got an attitude. I don't like it very much, Ayano Koji. Uh... You'll regret it if it causes you to suffer. Or you'll regret it if you feel despair. 
Which of the above experiences would you prefer? Well, if it's up to me, I think I'll take neither. But what's she doing with that compass? Ouch. Hey, why the long face, man? I have no objections to the fact that we're celebrating, and I'm glad to be a part of it. But why does it have to be in my room? Man, that was a close call, am I right? If Kushida hadn't gotten those old test questions, Ike and Suda would be long gone by now. You know what I mean? Hey, you just barely squeaked by two, you know. I just haven't gotten my act together yet. Suda, how did you manage hey, to get the old test mm -hmm. questions? What is it? How were you able to get them to take back Sudo's expulsion? Huh? Hmm. Horikita talk to the administration. <sighs> She told them that it wasn't right to expel someone as they're struggling to learn. She said it's a process. Hey, wait a minute. Horikita, is that true? I've never seen her speak so passionately about anything. <sighs> it's quite impressive. She presented this carefully constructed indictment and none of them could argue with her. That's amazing, Horikita. You're a real hero. Wow, I guess I had the wrong idea about you all along. Can you believe it? All for you. No, I can't. Why would she do that for my sake? <laughs> Look, I didn't. I was doing it for my own benefit and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> wow, beauty, passion, and brains. I'll say. Thanks for helping me out. I really appreciate it. I should thank you. You didn't have to let us have the party in your room. No problem. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Well, would you say that girls like Horikita are your type? I'm just curious. I always see you two together, and all the girls in class are talking about it. Horikita and I are just friends. No, she's just my neighbor. I see. Okay, then. I guess I should head back to my room. Right. Well, good night. Good night to you, too. I thought the girls were on the higher floors. Where could she be going this late at night? I don't see why I should be hiding, but... What a pain in the ass. Uh... So you think you're better than me just because you're prettier? I hate your guts! I swear to God, I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I wish you would just drop dead, Horikita! I hate you! I hate you! You stupid bitch! Who's there? Is someone spying on me? 
It's just me, Ayana Koji. I'm sorry, you left your phone in my room. Did you hear me? If I told you that I didn't, would you believe me? If you breathe a word about this to anyone, you'll pay. How exactly? I'll tell everyone in the entire school you attempted to rape me. You know that isn't true. You're wrong. I have the evidence to prove it. Your fingerprints and DNA in a very telling location. That's all the proof I need. I'm deadly serious. I understand. Can I please go back to my room? You got it? If you betray me, I'll make you pay. Ayano Koji, I want you to answer just one question. Can you promise me right now that you won't tell anyone what you've heard me say? Mm. I'm glad to hear it. And I choose to believe you for the time being. <sighs> All right then. Well, I guess this means we have another secret. Kushida. I don't understand. Who are you, really? Thank you for watching and please comment if you want more of this series or not. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day or night. I told you long ago on the road, I got what they waiting for. All roads on nothing, dog. Get your souls. Tell them they ain't laying low.